Good morning, friends. I would like to congratulate Organ India for taking this effort of organizing this awareness session on organ donation on the important occasion of the 11th Indian Organ Donation Day. Transplantation is one of the greatest medical advances of the 20th century. India has taken to it quickly and is the third largest transplanting country in the world with more than 12,000 transplants a year, thereby saving the lives of so many patients with end organ failures. In the setting of the COVID pandemic, it is more pertinent for us to know of organ transplantation as COVID may cause severe lung fibrosis in COVID survivors, thereby increasing the need for lung transplants. It is with pride that I say that one of the first post-COVID lung transplants was performed by an Indian born surgeon in Chicago. India is not lagging behind in this too. The first post-COVID lung transplant was done in Chennai by Dr. Balakrishnan. You may wonder as to what we are discussing. If we are on par with the developed world, then what do we need to do? We should be happy. The unfortunate situation is that there is a huge gap between the demand and supply of donors, which is worsened with COVID. With a population of over 1.3 billion and the increase of non-communicable diseases leading to end organ failures, the transplant needs are ever increasing. Yet, our diseased organ donation rate is a dismal 0.52 per million population with the burgeoning population and the number of organ donors failing to keep pace, the diseased organ donation rate, instead of rising, is dropping and the time to act is now. What do we need to do? We have to start talking about organ donation so that people feel comfortable discussing about it and it is no more a taboo in drawing room talks. School children, if primed, would be the greatest messiahs of organ donation for if we catch them young, we have educated a generation and more. It is a step in the right direction that organ donation and transplantation, along with the Transplantation of Human Organs and Tissues Act, is incorporated in the MCI medical curriculum. In certain states, it has been observed that people have awareness programs on organ donation in marriages and the couple pledged for organ donation followed suit by the guests. In religious functions, such as in Durga Puja Pandals, it has become fashionable to conduct programs on organ donation and to pledge for the same. There are several myths and misconceptions based on religion with regard to organ donation. It is important to clarify to the public that there is no basis for these myths and that all religions advocate saving lives and benefiting mankind. On the occasion of the Indian Organ Donation Day, let us come together and pledge to increase the disease to organ donation rate of our country and begin with pledging our organs and tissues to be donated after we are no more. I mm -hmm. end with a message from an organ donor to her family. I loved my life and had great plans for dreams I would pursue. I loved to learn and loved to work so much for me to do. But plans and dreams, it always seems, are subject to delay for life can bring surprises that take us from our way. I wanted to accomplish much, perhaps do something great and though I have now moved along. I've learned it's not too late. There is a special part of me that helps someone to live. I've done something great, you see. I found a way to give. I'm grateful I can help someone. I've left a legacy so someone else can yet live on with some help from me. Jai Hind.